My name is Will Pop Webster, and I'm the Vice President of the Harvard College Democrats. I'm proud to be a part of the Responsible Investment at Harvard Coalition. My name is Nicole Granith, and I'm a freshman set to be in Courier next year. I'm a member of Harvard Financial Analyst Club, Women in Business, and I'm proud to be a part of the Responsible Investment at Harvard Coalition. I'm Sinan Ibrahim, and I'm the former undergraduate council president at Harvard. My name is Felix DeRozan. I'm the Harvard College representative to the Advisory Committee for Shareholder Responsibility. My name is Evelyn Chapp, and I'm chair of the Council of Student Sustainability Leaders. My name is Ben Beachy. I'm a Master of Public Policy student at the Kennedy School. My name is Sam Loans. I'm a member of Economy Futures, and I'm a sophomore in Quincy House. My name is Lang Luntow, and I'm a senior class marshal, and I'm proud to be part of the Responsible Investment at Harvard College. Responsible Investment at Harvard is a broad coalition of students, alumni, and other community members who are committed to changing the way that Harvard manages its money. We seek greater mission alignment between the principles of social responsibility that drive the research and education activities of Harvard University and those that drive the investment strategies of the Harvard Management Company. We don't want to be yet another student group that shouts slogans at the administration. But we also don't want to sit idly by when we've spotted a problem on campus. So, responsible investment at Harvard is taking a third way and working with the Harvard community to be problem solvers. Putting forth innovative solutions that help Harvard stay both ethical and well endowed. What's the problem we're solving? Well, here's five quick background facts. One, the Harvard Management Company invests our university's money. Which is good. It gets Harvard more money, which it can spend on great things like cancer research, financial aid, and colorful chairs in the yard. Two. Every so often, some of these investment choices are troubling. Such as when Harvard invested in companies in apartheid South Africa, in big tobacco, in firms linked to the Darfur genocide, and in hotel chains that mistreat their workers. Three. Today, it's difficult to find out what Harvard's investing in. So we can't oversee whether there are similar troublesome investments now. Four. When a troublesome investment is spotted, there is still not a robust, formal process through which community members can address it. So we have to protest and stage rallies to make our voices heard. Such as when shanties had to be built in the yard in 1986 to get Harvard to follow Desmond Tutu's advice to divest from South Africa. Five. If I want to donate to Harvard, but I also want to follow Harvard's mission of assuming responsibility for the consequences of my personal actions and serving society. And if there is yet to be a reliably responsible investment fund, then I might just have no choice but to withhold my donation. That's not a good situation for anyone. For Harvard, who can use the money to do great things. And for me, who wants the pride that comes from supporting my alma mater. So, that's the problem. So, what do we do? What's the solution? Well, here's two solutions that won't work. First, we can't just keep doing issue-specific campaigns. It's not a sustainable solution to organize a rally where every single irresponsible investment we find. We have to come up with a holistic, sustainable, institutionalized solution to ensure socially responsible investment once and for all. Second, we can't sit back and do nothing. Former President Derek Bach has said that Harvard's investments should be motivated by the desire to not be, quote, associated as a shareholder with companies engaged in significant sales of products that create a substantial and unjustified risk of harm to other human beings. We agree, and something must be done. So here's a solution that might just work. One, let's create a social choice fund. Here's how it works. Donors to Harvard would be empowered to decide how they want their donations managed. By having the option of donating to the Fair Harvard Fund, which would only be invested in a socially screened mutual fund that excludes socially irresponsible corporations. Like those that hurt the environment or treat their workers badly. And prioritizes investments that produce a social benefit. Like solar energy companies or community development financial institutions. And indeed, all the money that's earned from this investment fund still goes to Harvard. The only difference is that donors can be sure that this money has not helped irresponsible actions along the way. Two, let's work together to create a transparency policy that incorporates environmental, social, and governance due diligence into all aspects of the investment portfolio. Three, let's develop a disclosure mechanism for past investments. We understand that releasing current investment information would be damaging to Harvard's long-term interests. However, disclosing past information after a reasonable period of time has passed would foster transparency without undermining our investment strategy. Four, let's strengthen the advisory committee on shareholder responsibility and the corporation committee on shareholder responsibility. They're the only entities designed to take on complex issues of broader social responsibility. And their mandates have not kept up with the nature of our investments. The ACSR and the CCSR 
should not just advise on proxy voting. They should also be empowered to take action based on environmental, social, and governance concerns across the spectrum of Harvard's investments. These ideas are mainstream. They've been tried before. Skidmore and Columbia have transparent investment portfolios. Williams and Brown have a social choice fund. Harvard has produced great scientists, presidents, and even NBA superstars. There's no reason why we can't also have the best responsible investment policies and institutions. Responsible investment is not just a slam responsibility. Or a salient responsibility. Not just a radical responsibility. Or a traditional responsibility. Not just an educational responsibility. Or a political responsibility. It's a Harvard community responsibility. And that's what RI at Harvard is all about.